family still cannot go home in Commerce City after a flash fire sends two girls to the hospital. Now we're learning our wet weather likely played a role in that explosion. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thanks for being with us. Our Jamie Leary is back on the scene at the duplex on Wyman Court. And Jamie, you found out that a sub pump was involved here? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, investigators haven't determined what gas caused the flash fire, but they have determined that the highest concentration of that gas was discovered in the home's sump pit, or excuse me, sump pit. Now, they also say that the weather did play a role. They said as the water table rises, it causes that gas to get pushed through the ground, rising to the surface, and then escaping through whatever means possible. It's still unclear how those gases were ignited, but when it happened, the two girls, ages 15 and 11, were seriously burned. Firefighters responded to the duplex just before 7 o'clock yesterday morning. The flash fire caused an explosion powerful enough to break windows and damage walls. Two adults were in the duplex at the time. They were uninjured. The girls, though, were rushed to the Children's Hospital in Aurora, where their continued, uh, where the continued recovery um, is going well. They're in stable condition. Now, families in both units have been displaced until repairs can be made. Ten people in total were impacted. The fire chief told me today that there is no danger to the community. He says sump pits are actually really reliable these days. As far as this particular sump pit goes, though, investigators have yet to determine if it was actually up to code at the time of the flash fire. Just to reassure this neighborhood, he said that he's ordered 50 gas detectors that the fire department will be handing out to these neighbors as early as Friday. Live in Commerce City, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 News. Thank you for that update, Jamie.